Hey, welcome back to Trekking California with Velox 18. We woke up this morning in Brawley, California, and we're bringing some produce back up to Northern California, back up to Turlock, where I live, my hometown. Uh, it's weird to call it my hometown. I, it's just where I live, all right? It's not where I grew up. It's not my true hometown. My true hometown is Napoma, California. Look it up. It was a Jeopardy question once. Farmer's Almanac, best weather in the country. That's right, most consistent weather in the country. Napoma, California, like 1995 or something like that. Look it up, look it up. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, hop in this truck and roll down the road. You guys roll the music and let's go. So uh, we stopped over here to get some sleep. If you didn't watch the last episode, uh, episode, I, I still can't call them episodes. It's weird. Uh, but they're long now. All my videos are super long. Uh, I just There's too much stuff that happens in a day. I got to record stuff for you guys. And then it, the videos end up super long. Plus, I ramble on and on when I talk. So. Sue me, all right? Sue me. Um, make sure the cross traffic is actually going to stop basically a highway we're pulling across right here. I mean, it's not basically a highway. It is a highway. It's basically like a freaking freeway, like 80 miles an hour. Uh, but anyway, uh, we, uh, I spent uh, 11 hours, uh, darn near 12 hours at the, uh, at the shipper yesterday. So I didn't make it very far. I only made it about an hour and 15 minutes down the road before I got tired and called it quits. Now, theoretically, you'd say, well, why don't you just sleep while you're waiting for that long? And then you can just hit the road and drive through the night. Well, it's hard to sleep sometimes, man. It's hard to sleep during the day. Uh, I'm not I'm not a night shift guy anymore. And, uh, and I was running on a little bit of sleep from the night before uh, because I edited a video and did some other stuff when I had my, my time to sleep. So I was a little tired, but I couldn't like fall all the way asleep because you're waiting for their phone call to get it, get in the dock. You're waiting for their phone call when you're in the dock to tell you that you're loaded. Then they told me, hey, you got to pull out for an hour. Uh, we got less, the last pallet of product needs to cool and then we'll put it on your trailer. So I, I didn't sleep that hour, although that hour would have been a good hour to sleep because I was actually tired. But I wasn't, uh, I I got everything set up to, you know, like I pulled over, got myself situated, and then I was just making sure I could hear my phone, and I was like, I, I never could quite fall asleep. So all that to say, that's why we started in Brawley today, even though we got loaded in Yuma. So didn't make it very far. And uh, yesterday was pretty much just we delivered and then we got loaded. And that's it. That's all we did in like, you know, I don't know how many. We did probably 140 miles of driving and we uh, and we only made it, uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I, I think we were started running. Yeah, so we between like you know from the time i woke up until the time i went to sleep we were awake for like 19 hours even though we only worked for a very very small part of that so anyway so it was a weird day but uh it's all good it snowed last night up on the alt i mean not the altamont up on uh, the grapevine and highway 58 so today uh it's it's much better weather to drive uh we're gonna we're not gonna run into any uh, road closures or anything. Um, the road might still be closed uh, up over Tatchby uh, on Highway 58, but uh, I'm probably just going to go back along the foothills there on Highway 210 and uh, go up over the grapevine. It should be uh, all good to go. So that's the plan for today. We're going to truck it on down the road and uh, and make, uh, make quick work of this drive and then we deliver this load tomorrow morning. So that is what we're doing. Let's, uh, let's, let's roll. Let's do it. So uh, we had 
had to make a decision uh, because Highway 58 through Tatchby has been closed. Uh, traffic on the 210 has been a little extra. So I've got about an extra 45 minutes of traffic to go through. Uh, and uh, the uh, but Highway 58 opened back up. That's what I was saying. And they uh, they began at about 10 10 a.m. this morning. So about an hour ago, they started uh, escorting traffic uh, over the westbound lanes, uh, and then they just started eastbound as well. So I guess some trucks jackknifed up there last night or, or yesterday morning actually when it started snowing. So they had it shut down because the trucks jackknifed on the eastbound lanes, and then uh, obviously for the snow uh, on the westbound lanes. So. They cleared the snow, now they're escorting traffic over. So I thought to myself, hey, maybe I should go Highway 58. Now that it's opening up, they're escorting traffic, you know, over the hill and down the hill. Yeah, it'll be a little bit slower as far as like the drive speed, but I mean, uh, it's not snowing anymore. So it's just, it's plowed, it's cold, but it's not snowing. Um, so I thought like maybe, maybe I'll just do that because the traffic down here, on the 210 is way too much. So I was taking my time to make that decision and it came all the way to the the last second here in San Bernardino where the 215 splits in the, from the 210 and they go in different directions. And uh, I decided just to stay down here on the, uh, on the lower side of the foothills. We'll run along uh, through to Pasadena and, and cut up over the, the uh, grapevine. And uh, yeah, so it's a little, take a little bit longer, but, uh, but it's a sure thing. I don't know exactly what that's going to look like up there. Uh, and who knows, maybe now that it's opening up, some of the traffic that you know, was down here will be going up, you know, back up to Highway 58 to get over. Uh, I don't know. That's something that I'm just kind of rolling the dice, hoping that this works out. We, that we're able to get, uh, you know, get up, get get over uh, the grapevine uh, before too much traffic hits uh, leaving LA. I mean, it's still early, it's like 11, 15 or something like that. So we got time. And uh, I mean, I got all day to drive. It's not like I'm gonna be running short on hours. It's just, I'd like to get home by dinner time. That's my main goal. But uh, anyway, we're gonna keep on trucking down the road and uh, catch up with you guys. When we take our 30 minute break, uh, hopefully that'll be over the uh, grapevine and down in uh, Wheeler Ridge, but we'll see. We'll see, uh, we'll see how it all works out. Talk to you guys in a little bit. Good. Snow 
road pretty good. So we're gonna drop down the hill and then we'll stop and have some lunch over there at, uh, uh, I think I'm feeling like some Habit Burger. The Habit. So that's the plan as of right now. Let's go. It's time to get some lunch and hey, look at the snow level over there guys you see that you see the snow how low the snow level is over there I mean that's to Hatchby over there man we that's that's why highway 58 was closed yesterday because that snow level was low and they got a lot of snow up at the elevation that uh, Tatchby passes at so I mean, you can see over there there's a grapevine probably just saw some of that snow up on the on that footage, but from this side, you can see it. Uh, it was pretty heavy, man. Pretty heavy snowfall for this area. So kind of fun. Time to go get some habit. Let's go. All right, man. That uh, that lunch was good, man. The habit just hits the spot. I mean, check it out. It's like uh, a super cheesy burger. Uh, it's got grilled onions on it with onion rings. Oh man, it was so good. So bomb. But all right, it's time to go trucking again. We gotta hit the road. Let's go. It's a little windy out here, so we'll make this short. Um, we're not gonna end the video here, but I think we're gonna include tomorrow's delivery, and then we'll look for loads tomorrow. So, uh, I don't know, this might be the end of the video, though, because I haven't looked at how much footage I have. Uh, I don't think it's very much, so I, I think I'm gonna just combine the two days, but you never know. Just in case this is the end of the video, love you guys, peace out. But, hold on, because there's probably more, all right? So don't go nowhere, all right. All right, good morning, everybody. We're right back here to the truck, and uh, we're ready to go make this delivery. And uh, it's gonna be quick and easy. Last time I went uh, with this brokerage, so this brokerage is actually like right down the street from where the delivery is, so I'm pretty sure that they've got the prepaid lumpers because last time they like put me in a different dock and got me unloaded so fast. So I'm hoping that that's because of the brokerage and that it wasn't just that that product or that, that um, vendor that was that I was you know the shipper I hope it has to do with the broker and not the shipper because I've gone to the same receiver and I've been there a couple times with two different brokerages and one time it took a long time to unload and the last time when I came with this uh, brokerage it was so quick and painless so that's what I'm hoping for today uh, it's a first come first serve anytime before noon so I just woke up got had I had to sleep in a little bit so woke up around 6 30 7 o'clock had breakfast with the family left Left for work the same time they left for school, and uh, hey, we'll see what I can find on the load boards. But um, I took a sneak peek at them, and it's not looking good. But it's kind of drizzling, kind of raining, and uh, so I'm gonna get back in the truck, and we're gonna go make this delivery. And uh, I don't know. I feel like I'm starting a new video, but it's not. It's uh, it's the same video. It's the same episode. Ah. All right, let's get in the truck. All right, we're just moseying on, moseying on down the road about six miles. And, uh, well, it's a um, short drive, short delivery. This was the value I found in this load when I first saw it on the load board because it delivers right here to Turlock. So uh, I knew that uh, I was already set up with the brokerage, which plays into a lot of my decisions on which loads I take because sometimes filling out a carrier packet is the last thing I want to do when I'm trying to find a load. It's just, it takes time and energy that I don't want to spend. Uh, sometimes I'll look for loads and if there's two or, you know, multiple loads that kind of have the same uh, parameters, I, uh, I'll i go with the one that I'm already set up with. Uh, 
you know, if I'm having a hard time finding the load and there's one that looks like it would be good, uh, and I got a, you know, it's a newer brokerage or whatever, and I've got a set up with them, then that's it. So, uh, anyway, this, this brokerage I've worked with before, uh, but they're a trucking company here in town. And they, uh, their yard is actually, if I turn the other way right here, if I turn left, that is where their yard is. So their proximity to this receiver makes me think that they have the relationship with this receiver. Um, which is why I'm hoping that the, uh, the way that I got unloaded last time is consistent with this brokerage and not just because of the shipper last time or because of the, the freight I had on last time. I think it's because this brokerage, they have all their own trucks that go in there all the time and they're like, they want them to get in and get out and they probably prepay the lumper fee and they probably bring those guys donuts. I mean, if you're going into a place all the time and you have like a contract, uh, I don't see what the harm would be in, um, you know, kind of getting capstone uh, logistics set up with an account and uh and bringing them some donuts every friday morning or something I, i'd be i'd be all over that if it meant my trucks could get out in and out in an hour because last time i came here it was an hour uh, so uh instead of like three or four i mean you can you can just uh not just save your driver's time which is important for their for their for your driver's like sanity and you know, for, for you to treat your drivers well, but also for the fact that you can go put another load on the truck. So, anyway, hopefully that's what we're walking into this morning, but no guarantees. Uh, so this Fresh Point is the receiver. They have a facility right here in Turlock, right across the street from the Peterbilt dealership, so kind of cool right off the 99 we're just here on this frontage road so it's uh it's easy delivery easy easy at least for me i'm sure that's how other people feel if they live you know in like the bay area and they get a if they get a load that delivers to oakland they're like man how convenient and for me if i have to go to oakland i'm like yeah, you better give me a few hundred extra dollars because that's, that's a hassle that I don't want to have to deal with. But, yeah, let's see. Got some construction happening. Got this truck hanging out in the middle. Don't know what they're doing. Entrance is a little goofy. Alright, cool. Let's get in here and find out uh, where they want us. See how long this takes. Ah! Alright, so just like I thought, it is based on the brokerage. Um, he, uh, he came up, he goes, what do you got, apples? I said, no, I ain't got no apples, bro. I didn't come from Washington. I, I said, "It's uh, no, I got uh, arugula and broccoli and some other stuff from uh, Yuma, from Church Brothers. He goes, oh, Church Brothers? Okay, normally Pitar brings that. And I said, yeah, that's a, it's a Pitar load. I think they just didn't have enough trucks for all the loads they had. So they brokered it to me, and he goes, okay, all right. Uh, so you don't need the paperwork, huh? And I said, you know what, last time, uh, he told me he didn't need the paperwork from me. That's, uh, I didn't even have to scan it into the computer or anything. And he goes, all right, um, yeah, because I always just send a big packet of paper, of, uh, of all the paperwork over to him, and we just send it over to uh, to Patar. So uh, he's like, yeah, uh, all right, then, if you don't need the paperwork, then just go get in Dock 6. We'll get you unloaded. As soon as, you, uh, as, soon as you're done, they're done unloading you, you can leave. I was like, all right, cool, man. I like it. I like it. So... That's uh, that's the way this what this place works with this brokerage. Um, you know, this trucking company has a set up to where they can get their guys in and out. And uh, hey, I get to reap that the benefits of that because uh, they got it set up for their drivers. So 
believe me when I say that when I see their name on a delivery to this place, it piques my interest because it <laughs> my time is valuable, man. And uh, to have a place like this where they've got a brokerage has a system in place for their guys to get in and get out, that's invaluable. Now they could work on the other end. <laughs> I mean, 11 hours to get loaded is gonna be like an hour and I'm gonna be out of here. I'll be probably be out of here in under an hour, probably like 40 minutes I'll be in and out over here. Um, so maybe it makes up for it a little bit, but still, I mean, if you just use uh, the, the timing for loading and unloading on, on either side, it's still divided by two. It's like still over uh, five and a half hours, six hours uh, between the, the, the two of them. So it's still a ridiculous waste of time, but nevertheless, I'm excited because today we're getting out of here. I got to hop on the load boards. There's not a lot going on. There really isn't. There's some local stuff and then there's stuff that's paying like dirt going down to Southern California. And I just, it's Thursday and I don't want to get paid like dirt to go down to Southern California without knowing that I can get a good paying load coming back on Friday. Um, so I might have to look ahead a day and see if I can book something out of LA for Friday and then say, okay, maybe I'll, I don't know. I, I, that sounds dumb though too, because what if I don't find anything that works out timing wise coming out of Northern California, going to Southern California, that's gonna get me to my, so it's kind of a, a roll of the dice no matter what I do. Uh, so I think I'll just get unloaded here and then uh, we'll keep grinding on the low board and see if we can find anything, but I think this might be it, I really do. But uh, yeah. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We'll, we'll uh, catch up with you guys once we get unloaded and see if I find anything. I don't know. There's my guy. My guy from Coyote is actually calling right now. So we'll see if they got anything that uh, maybe isn't on the board. Or maybe I have my parameters set a little bit different than he has his parameters. And he can find something for me. So uh, I'll talk to you guys a little bit. All right. We are out of here. Uh, under an hour. Super quick and easy. Um, I was looking for a load. And uh, I'll be honest, I don't know if I'm going to get one today, guys. I really don't know because um, pull up until gate opens. So you got to get real close to this one. There we go. Um, yeah, so I called on a load. It's picking up in Modesto and going down to San Bernardino. And he... Uh, I saw it pop up on the low board for 1100 and then it disappeared. So I was like, ah, oh, whatever, it's cool. And then it popped back up on the load board for 1000 So I was like, I'm not going to get this load, but I'm going to at least call on it, make sure that, you know, I'm doing my due diligence. And uh, so I, I called and I said, hey, I uh, called on this load from Modesto to San Bernardino. And he was like, okay, yeah. Um, you know, it's an ice cream load, negative 10. Uh, and I was like, all right, that that's cool. I can I can do a, an ice cream load. I'm not I'm not afraid of no ice cream anymore. Uh, and then um, and then he said uh, he said, all right, well, um, yeah, we're offering a thousand on it. And I said, all right, I mean, that's cool. But um, you know, I normally run this lane for about eighteen hundred per load. Uh, is there any chance you know we could get a little closer to that? And he's like. Oh man, uh, I'll, I'll be honest, man. Uh, uh, we've got we've got guys lining up, uh, line lining up to to grab this load from us for eleven hundred. I was like, oh okay, so you uh, so you got guys lining up to grab it for eleven hundred, but you put it on the low board for for a thousand, huh? And he was like, he was like, well, you know, just uh, we're taking all the offers and we're gonna see who. And I'm like, oh, okay, no worries, that's good. I said, well, you know, I'll let one of those guys have it for 1100 because I can't even do it for 11. So you let, I'll let someone else have it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so I guess they got a lot of interest when they put it up for 1100. They decided to take it down, tell all those guys, you know, whatever, kick rocks, and then put it back on the little board for a thousand dollars to see if they can get someone just a hundred dollars cheaper. So uh, they're continuing to work that load, even though guys have called on it and offered what, at least that's what he thats what he told me, that he's got a line of guys, that the phone's ringing off the hooks for this load. So anyway, so I don't know, with the market the way it is right now, I don't see me going and getting a load. Um, I, I'm trying to find something still, uh, but I, I have a feeling that local run is gonna be better for me. I think if I run a thousand, 
um, I mean, a thousand dollars to run all the way down south versus uh, I saw a load. It just, it's like I would have to deadhead pretty far to get it, and then bring it back kind of closer to the house. Um, you know, and it was it was at nine hundred bucks. So I'm like, yeah, if I can find something that works, like you know, geographically a little bit better, maybe picks up a little closer to where I'm at and then delivers, um, you know, somewhere nearby or I don't know, maybe if it's like Turlock to, to Stockton, then I'll do it. Or, or even just like Patterson to Tracy, something like that. But this other one was like all the way up in Napa and then you bring it back towards um, Stockton and then come back. So it would still be like 400 miles by the time I got done with it, maybe 300 something but anyway it, it, it'd be a it'd be a long drive um for a thousand bucks so i'm uh i'm just looking for the right load right now uh and if something else comes up to bring me south i'm down uh the the la southern california market coming back up isn't as dry as the northern california market is so uh looks like i could get out of that market tomorrow on friday um there's actually a couple of really good loads that i was looking at so i was thinking all right well maybe i'll take that you know, 11, 1200. If I could get them to bump up to like 1400 on that Modesto to, to San Bernardino, then so that's why I called on it because I was I saw some loads down there that wouldn't be bad loads that would deliver Saturday morning and I'd have my whole weekend, all that good stuff. So trying to figure it out, but um, I'm also not opposed to just cutting off the week right here and saying, hey, this is uh, this is it, man. This is this is it. Um, we're still profitable at this point in the the week. Uh, almost five thousand dollars of revenue at this point in. You know a, a short amount of time and a, and a decent amount of miles a pretty low amount of miles so not as much fuel so the profit margin is is it's okay like we can survive on a week like this um this isn't this isn't gonna be a record-breaking week um and if i have these weeks every week it'll catch up with us but um we're still technically profitable at this at this um at this amount of money so hey I might just call it a week because I don't want to get, get, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to be hauling loads just to haul loads around and burning fuel just to burn fuel and put miles on my truck just to put miles on my truck. So kind of a decision I'm making, um, you know, if next week's like this, like this too, then I might have to take some cheap freight and just, just got to get revenue to, you know, at a certain point, but we've hit our revenue this week that, that would make us profitable. So I'm just going to call it quits and anyway so that's it for this video um yeah so we i mean what woke up yesterday pick, picked up uh picked up in yuma and then uh went to sleep in brawley so we woke up yesterday in brawley drove it up here to turlock delivered in turlock wonderful beautiful amazing delivery over here at fresh point uh thank you to the broker for having that set up because uh it makes my life so much better so much easier and uh, they offer 2% quick pay. So I'm gonna go and uh, uh, set up, get my invoice set up, and then um, and then I'm gonna uh, actually drive over because their yard's so close to the house. I'm gonna drive, drive the invoice over and uh, they said they'd cut me a check right there. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, might be what, what all I do today is go collect on that and um, you know make it make make a little uh, make a little cash money, cash money. All right. That's, uh, that's it for this video. Love you guys. Peace out. See you on the next load. Maybe that might be today. Who knows? But it'll be in a different video, so you have to stay tuned.